like to introduce a friend of mine, Brian Wampler here. I've, been, I've known Brian for a long time, and we've uh, been working on pedals, and he actually works on pedals. <laughs> I tell him what I need, and he makes that sound come out in a pedal. And uh, anyways, we, we're, talk, we're here talking about this Hotwire pedal, so this new and improved version. Yep. Brian's going to explain more. Yeah, I mean, I don't, that's all I can say about it. <laughs> I can tell you how good it sounds. And then, well, basically, I mean, it, it, country music is kind of changing, of course, and, and this pedal kind of re reflects what you're doing nowadays, you know, uh, mm -hmm. as compared to a couple years ago, which with the, with the last hot, hot wire, which is great. <laughs> but music's, a, you know, there's just a, some other things that um, this pedal can do that the other one can't. I mean, like the right channel, for example, has a clean blend, which you really wanted. And, uh, you know, because you can kind of, it's like having a dirty amp and a clean amp put together. And uh, it sounds more like an amp that's breaking up a little bit. Exactly. You know? And, uh, and of course, the, the left channel, channel two, that, that you liked, you know, uh, so much, that kept that the, the same, actually. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just glad you like it, man. I'm glad, glad it's something you can use. Side two is, you know, we're back at the full big balls. <laughs> Great, great. Uh, also, I want to say, you know, and I should go back on the other, each one of them has a, uh, a EQ boost, like a fat boost. So if you're playing, now I'm, I'm playing with a closed back cabinet. So a lot of times if you get an open back and you're missing a little low end, you can kick that fat boost on there. What is it, what is it uh, boost and what, about what, what range? Um, actually, it's boosting right around, there's, there's three different positions in there. Yeah, there's three. There's a nor there's normal, there's fat, normal, and fatter. If I recall right, I believe um, it, it's boosting right around 100 or 150 hertz, and it's just boosting a, a couple decibels one way. And a yeah, couple more decibels. it really shows on on a close back because the close back will push the, yeah. it'll give you that low end that you yeah. sometimes miss on the. <laughs> See how the even texture, it, it tails off nice, it trails off nice, I should say. And there's, no, there's no crappy, you know, sometimes you'll get that real bubbly kind of sound on a bad distortion. That's just a great distortion. So two, we didn't touch it. Leave it alone. Everybody, everybody loves that side, and it's it's just great for all out screaming solos. You know, right. it really rocks. And so basically, we fixed what we were missing was that. Okay, I want I want a, a 50 watt amp to sound like a 15 watt amp. You know, and I don't want to lose any tone, and I don't want to. Have to screw around with combinations of knobs. Wait a minute. Uh, let me turn this and this and that to get it. You just basically get the volume set. And you got the tone set, and whatever guitar and amp you're using, you got you got the advantage of uh, flipping the switch to fatten it up. Or nor there's a normal gain, uh, normal setting there, and then flipping it to the right, you get a fatter, and then all the way to the left, just a slight bit fatter. See how that, that sounds great? Now it sounds like a Marshall or a, or a you know like a boogie or something. That's that's channel two. But I'm doing I got humbuckers here. This is that new uh, PRS uh, studio model. Which got humbuckers down here in the single coil. But this is humbucker right now. And 
that's a side two. Now, what I didn't tell you is that, you know, hey, kick them both on if you really want to drive it, you know? That's both sides, so I mean that's a that's a kick butt solo sound there. If you really want to drive it, so you got then you got that advantage. You can kick both of them on. You want that extra, you know, balls to the wall sound. You got that. Of course, then kicking on this, you get. And if you listen to that, every guitar I picked up on that channel too, it's all even. That distortion is really even, even with the compressor on. Hear how even that is? No, no weird feedback. I mean, unless you're putting it in front of you, you want that feedback thing, you can lean to the amp, but I got the amp facing that way. But real even textured uh, as far as all the tones and frequencies are all pretty even. I got the volume down on this, on the on the ego compressor. And then go back to channel one. Got more of the rhythm sound. Also get these kind of you know the pretty even textures for that on the on the first channel getting those Pete Towns that kind of thing. Together. sound, you know, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> 